hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to implement looping statement in q web report and in case you missed previous discussion about how to implement conditional statement in q web report please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see here odoo development under the develop odoo development you can see here different topic wise playlist available with different task classes and if you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page under the about page you can send your query to this email address and source code also available in the github and we have many social media pages make sure you can follow and you can also subscribe this channel to get latest notification let's back to our main topic like how to implement looping statement in qf report right uh if you know the basic python to understand the qweb looping statement right so for that like i'm going to install the profile so let's say how to implement so for that like i'm going to here in the custom addon here we already created this module the separate module to understand this one right let me comment this part also and let me add here looping statement topic you can see this is conditional statement topic and this is the data output topic right now let's say if you want to print some list or some tuple right in this qweb report so that time you can use t t desk for each right and then t desk as so here like let's say you just try to use so in a python side so for here is a variable name and then in then that instance name then after colon and here print statement right this is a python code now here in a qweb report we have to add t desk and then after for each this is compulsory then after t desk l so instead of the in we have to use l right that's it that's the main difference here and let me add here one more tuple let me add here some instance name like rct record something like that and oh sorry in h1 we will print that one so span or oh, let's say t desk csc rct let me close this one and let me upgrade this module in the terminal end if you don't know how to upgrade how to configure odoo with pycharm please check the editor level playlist i already explained over there once i will restart the service it will automatically upgrade the module and now i will try to print this pdf report now you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 10 so all these display line by line using the h1 tag right so this is called a for loop statement and only this for loop statement is supported in the qweb report now let's say i want to display here the student name from this call right so for that you can see here like school underscore list like doc dot then after school underscore id dot school underscore list and here i will add the student list name i will i want to print so here so doc means the student profile this profile Uh, not this one not this one let me restart the service first this one so this is the doc as a variable i mean instance name the record set name then after we are using the school underscore id which is this field this is a many to one field and here in the many to one field you can see your school underscore list by mistake i added school underscore list but it is a student underscore list here right 
so don't confuse here and this is a school underscore list this is our instance name and here I am trying to print all the students it means like all these three students automatically print in the queue web report you can see Ramu Chacha, Sita Raman and the Ramu all three students under the IIT school right so like this way you can use the for each statement and there are predefined variables also supported here but we will not discuss those one here just you can understand how to access this for each loop right the for loop the looping statement the this is the way like a looping statement is working in the queue web report if you have any doubt related looping statement please comment below and see you in next session